Coach's Corner. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Graham Miller, head coach of the women's soccer team. And, Coach, first let's talk about the, the MAC uh, tournament. You guys earned the three seed and then had to travel up to Arcadia. Yeah, you know, it was um, it was a great finish to our season, and we talked about that last week. You know, to finish, um, you know, third in the conference and a very tough conference with, you know, the two team of teams above us, Messiah and Arcadia, both nationally ranked um, going into the last week and still nationally ranked. So we knew it was going to be a tough task, even though we'd beat Arcadia before um, because it was at their place. Um, we had a long bus trip that took a little bit longer than it should have done. Um, we didn't start very well, and, you know, we lost the goal early, and, and you know, we, we just couldn't fight back from that. And all credit to Arcadia, you know, you know, they obviously went on to lose to Messiah in the final, but they got an at-large bid on Monday. So, you know, both Messiah and Arcadia, I think, will represent the conference well. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we gave as good as we could um, with injuries and some other um, things that were going on with the team. So um, it's something that we can learn from, and, and we know that we've got to, you know, keep getting better if we're going to keep challenging Arcadia and Messiah. And they were definitely looking for some retribution from your guys' regular season meeting. Uh, and they were able to do that against you. Yeah, we were, you know, we were their first loss, so you know, all year. So, the, and the only team they lost to, apart from us, was Messiah. So, um, you know, they're a very strong program, and I, I wish them all the best, you know, in the tournament. And let's keep talking about postseason play. Obviously, two teams getting into the uh, tournament from our conference, and then you guys as well getting into the ECAC tournament. And uh, able to host this weekend yeah and it bodes well for the conference Albright also um, made it into the into the bracket for the ECACs and you know it's a new format with ECACs this year you know it's a they have a grand champion so mm -hmm. all the regions combine um, so we were yeah very fortunate enough um, due to a regular season and our strength of schedule um, that we got uh, you know the number two seed in this pool of four and um, you know we get to host as well um, mm -hmm. Grove City the number one seed um, couldn't host for whatever reason and, and we'll <laughs> gladly accept um, you know, except hosting because we like playing in, in Mustang Stadium. And you get to sleep in your own bed. You get to play on a field you're familiar with. Other teams have to travel. And it's better than a five-hour drive up to That's Grove right. City. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so let's talk – Talk a little bit about that formatics. Do you like it? Do you not in ECAC? I think it's great. I really do. I mean, you know, in the past, it's just been, you know, the one region and it's been eight teams in your region and you end up playing the same teams, mm -hmm. um, you know, that you've played. I mean, Frostburg's here this weekend. We've already played them. Um, you know, Albright's in a different region, but if it hadn't changed, Albright would probably have been in our region and we could have played them again for mm -hmm. the, you know, second time this year. So um, I do like it. I think it's great. I think it uh, legitimizes the ECACs and, and to do it over two weekends and a final four and you know we're going to try and get there and uh, compete for that championship I agree I think it's a positive change to get a little bit more involvement and uh, play teams that you don't normally play yeah and and you know the teams we're up against you know Chatham um, had a really good um, you know season I mean they competed with Grove City and they competed with Thomas Moore who went undefeated this year and and you know Chatham and Grove City and and even and Frostburg they made it to their conference final and lost to Christopher Newport they were one win away from going mm -hmm. to the tournament as well so this is a tough group of four teams that are in our pod and um, you know we're gonna have to be at our best to be able to to, be, to beat those teams and let's talk a little bit about those matchups a little bit first with uh, Chatham, and we won't talk about any of that because we don't know what could happen. But um, what, what do you expect? What is it that the team needs to do to be playing on Sunday as well? Well, you know, I think we have to, you know, we, we didn't really show ourselves. We've got a second chance. So I don't think we played our best soccer against Arcadia last week. Um, so this these games coming up are more, I don't think it's about ending this season. I think it's about setting the tone for the future. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we need to set a positive tone going into next year. So a, a lot of pl players now have a second chance to, to shine on Saturday. And, um, you know, that's the goal for this team is, you know, let's, let's get better. Let's see what we can do. We had a really good practice last night, and the plan will be to keep practicing hard all week and we'll see what players step up and it's going to be a chance for them to um, you know step up and, and see if they're going to be a part of this program for the future now let's talk about that positive note for the future and from the players perspective seven players earn all conference accolades yeah delighted I mean um, you know it just shows you the respect we have in the conference and you know we, I think we we ended up having more players than Arcadia did and you know that shows you the respect they have for our players and our players deserved it I mean the mm -hmm. seven players you know really did well this year and and for them to to be, you know, picked by the coaches, the fellow, the fellow coaches in the MAC, I think it's a great achievement and very proud of all the girls and proud of everybody because those seven players wouldn't have got that recognition if it wasn't for their teammates pushing them hard in practice mm -hmm. and games every day. Well, Coach, we appreciate your time as always, and we wish you best of luck this weekend. No, thanks, Joe. It's good to be here. He's Graham Miller. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Coach's Corner.